Welcome to Joie. I'm Heidi Noble, owner, operator, and winemaker of Joie Farm Winery. Joie started as an outdoor cooking school and gastronomic guest house, summer of 2003. Joie was started by a poor cook and waiter in a farmhouse. Uh, that is a true story. It was our dream to make wine when we first came to the Okanagan Valley. But making wine is super capitally intense, as you can well imagine, and we had no money. I'm a formerly trained chef and sommelier. My partner at the time had spent a lifetime in restaurants and was also a trained song. Uh, we had both also worked in the import wine business. So on the sage advice of Sinclair Philip, he said, Heidi, you need to use what you have. The bread is in the bed. So we opened our farmhouse, which was sort of a, a late 70s brown stained farmhouse. We gave it a quick coat of red paint, as you see now with this new farmhouse. So that's what this bright red is about. It was the only money this poor cooking waiter had to make their uh, farmhouse legit. We ran gastronomic weekends, including big long table dinners way before they were the cool thing to do. We gave outdoor cooking classes, market tours, wine classes for four summers until we were ready to make wine. Halfway through that process, we started to rent space at Poplar Grove Winery. We had seven credit cards. We took $90,000 off in cash. Made our first vintage of wine, this classic entrepreneurial venture, the worst way to borrow money in the entire world. However, prior to coming here, we had both worked in the, on the import side of the wine business and had about 200 clients between the two of us. And with great faith and pride, a lot of our friends bought our first vintage on spec. Vikram Beach put down his credit card on the bar, said, I will take half of your first production of Noble Blend. John Clarity's at Marquee Wine Cellar in Vancouver took the other half. So we managed to move this very small 800 case production in two weeks paid back the $90,000 in cash on our credit cards, paid the speeding ticket of the privilege of interest of doing that, and moved on. And then in 2005, we did something super crazy. Our 80 cases we made in the first year of the rosé sold out like in a phone call. So we made 1,200 cases of rosé. Our neighbors thought we were crazy, like super crazy. This is back in the era of BC winemaking where people still called rosé blush. They thought it was white Zinfandel. They thought it was supposed to be sweet. They thought it was garbage wine. Um, having worked in import and being a French trained chef and classically trained in food and wine, I knew rosé was a huge part of European wine drinking, lunch drinking tradition. I love lunch wine. There was a huge hole in the market for dry European style quality rosé. The other thing we started making was our Noble Blend, our other flagship wine. Noble Blend is called a Noble Blend because it's a classic Alsatian Edelsbicker. Edelsbicker translates literally from German into English as a noble blend. At the time in Vancouver, this is like early 2000s, Vancouver was in the midst of sort of its small plate revolution. Bid 942 was the hot shit. Everybody was having tapas, small plates. Can I swear on this? Right. And everybody stopped eating their own entree. What you would get in restaurants then is a four top where everybody would be having a different plate and they wanted one bottle of wine. Pacific Northwest cuisine by nature is ingredient driven, it's super Mediterranean in that sense, and lots of shellfish and seafood. So aromatic Germanics were a no-brainer, en oak charnay was a no-brainer, and then rosé. Favorite part of day-to-day? -day? Well, this doesn't get old, ever. I've lived here, we bought this farm in 2002. I love the aridness of the heat here. I love the way that it smells. Our ambient smell here is like ponderosa pine and sort of rotting apples. It sounds disgusting, but Really, that's what it smells like. I love the change of seasons, and I love the fact that I work outside every day. 